Good morning everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do lookup from one table into another table. For example, we have here, if you open the, the data set that we have or the, the data set in the design mode, we have three tables. We have table customer, we have cities, and then we have user. But in this field, in this table, we have city and then city ID. I put this in purposes. We have, I can look up city from this table because I have a list of cities in this table. Also, I can use city ID to look up city because this is a prime a foreign key. So, and this is what usually, this is the, this is what we usually do. We use the city ID to tie these two table together for a foreign key. So in this table, I want to be able, and the foreign customer, for example, here, instead of city being as a text, I wanted the user to be able to do what? You click on it, a list of the cities show up, you select the city, and then it's stored in the database. The way you do this, we'll start with the, start with the details view because it's pretty easy, simpler, easier. The way we do this, you click on the data, so a data, the tool, let's show, uh, look at the tools. We have a city field here, right? Let's look at the property of this city field. If you look at the property of this city field, you'll see at the top, there's something called data binding, right? And it is bounded, is bound to what? It's bound to this data called the uh, TB, uh, TBL customer binding source and the field is city, right? Now what are these things? The binding source, as you remember I mentioned it to you earlier, is that in the previous video, that we have here something called binding source, table customer binding source. This is the way to link these text fields with the database values in your database. So it's just tying the display, those text fields with the, with the columns in the database. So we know this one is tied to this binding source and, and the name of it is called city. All right, so I'm gonna delete that. Because we want to make this a lookup, basically a combo box, we need to add a combo box to our form. So we have something called here combo box. We click and drag this into my form, combo box. I'll show you two ways to do it, the hard way and the easy way, okay? If you click on the button here, it says use data bound items. Yes, we want to use data bound items. Now, because it's a combo box, it has multiple value. It'll ask you, where do you want to get the values from? If we click on this, I have the table customer binding source and I have other sources. Now, the table customer binding source is for the customer table. So if we want to get the information from the city table, then I have to get a binding source for the city. I'll show you the hard way first, then we have to go in here, other data sources, click on project, and then I have customer data set, right? You click on that, and then you have the table cities, right? You're okay with me? Then you click on cities. So now, I said this combo box is tied to the city table, all right? And notice when I did that, it created the uh, city binding source and city table adapter. Okay, the table adapter is the one that goes out to the database and get the values. You run the queries, if you remember, we're running the queries. Okay, so what I want to do here, I want to display the value for the user to select. I have two values to select, city or city ID. Most likely you don't display city IDs, you display the city name because the user does not understand what is it one, two, and three, right? So I want to select city. Then you say the value member. The value is that when you select that record, what value will you use? In this case, 
because I'm using the city field, not the city ID, I'll be selecting the city. You got the idea? So when I select it, I'm actually not selecting the, pri the key, I'm selecting the value city. All right, what else can I do? So that's for displaying the data in the, in, in the combo box. The next part is, where do you get the data? Once you select the data, where do you want to save it to? Which table do you want to save it to? Remember when I started showing you that text box that we deleted? It was tied to what? If you remember, it was tied to the table customer binding source. Remember that? And in here, I have the city field. So I'm putting it back the way it was before. You got the idea? So now, I get the value from the city table which is the binding source and the table adapter and then the value I select I will store it into the customer table which, which, col which column? city now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens if I click on cities I'm sorry customers you'll see now what? I have a list yeah? I have a list of cities and I can select one of these and click on save and that will be saved in the database okay but we have a problem here because when we if we go to the next record it, no it's okay okay you get the idea is that clear so now if you select any city for example and click on save it's fine you close it to check this is record number customer ID 10 right record 4 if you close it and then you go back to customer go to 10 customer ID 10 that's the city that we've selected is that clear now this is in the video so you can follow the instruction now I'm going to show you how to do it easier but on the second field the, the on the city ID instead of city ID I wanted to actually display the city name but when we store it we store it with the city ID you got the idea all right let's close this go back to here and let's delete the city ID field and again add a combo box okay All right. Now, I want to say this is okay. You can say this is a, a, a bound data record, but I don't want to do that. I want to show you the easier way. What do you do? You click on the data source. You have the city table, right? Yeah. What I want to do is that I'm going to drag it and drop it on the combo box. The city table. Drag it and drop it on the combo box. Now notice what happens. It created more data binding cities for me in the bottom, but that's okay. But let's see what happens here. It put all the stuff for me. All the bi data binding source and all of that, is, it did it all for me. So now what I'll do here, I have to say the value, notice here, what you are displaying is what? The city. But the value that you're selecting is what? city ID so what is actually what are your yes you're looking at the city but you're actually selecting the city ID now what do we do with this city ID I want to put it back in the original table which is the table customer table so we repeat the same steps we go to table customer ID binding source and then I select city ID and then that's it now let's go ahead and run it and see what happens if I select customer, notice, I don't have ID anymore. I have the city. But if I am actually selecting a city, but actually what is being stored in the table? The city ID. Okay, so if I save it, it's fine. Now let's make it all Dubai, for example, just to show you. We go to the database, for example, save. First record is Dubai. Second record is, again, I'm going to make it Dubai. And third record, third record, again, record, I'm going to make it also Dubai. Okay, and then we click on save. 
Let's close it and look at the database and see if actually this is what's happening. Close it. So that is the lookup using the detail view. Pretty simple. And then the next video, I'm going to show you how we do it with the grid view.